Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about function templates. Now uh, before I explain what function templates are, say I was your boss and I told you that I want to I want you to make uh, some a function to add to be able to add strings together and add numbers together and be able to add like doubles floats longs all those types together right then in what we would have to do is we'd have to make different overloads and say return a plus b and then we have to make one for double a double b and we'd have to turn a plus b, b etc etc well what do we notice that's going on the same here we know that the same thing that's happening is that we're returning a plus b right so what if we could create something in order to uh, return the value based on what we input in here Right, so for example, if we put it, put an int in the parameters, then it would return an integer value. If we uh, put a double double in there, then it would return a double, etc., etc. Well, we can with templates. So with templates, with function templates, it allows us to create generic uh, types, so they're not specific to any uh, object type or any variable type. So you specify when you're using the function what type you want to make it, okay? So that's how we create a template. So we put template, we open it with the left stream operator, and we can either put type name or we can put class. Either one is interchangeable, uh, but I'll use class. And then after we put class, we put in our new generic type name that we're creating, right? So this is our, our yeah, generic type. So um, think of this as creating um, a new object, whether this be like int or something, whatever. Just this represents its own personal object. So now we're going to say t add t a t b, and then we're going to say return a plus b. So t is a generic type. Remember that, right? So we say whatever type that we uh, our template is going to be, we're going to return that type. So that's our return type. The function's name is add. And whatever type t is, um, that's what we have to pass into the whatever in this parameter. And whatever t is, that's what we have to specify in this parameter. Okay? So let's test out to see how this function works. So let, let me put uh, c out and uh let me put or well, i have it intelligence disabled but i'm gonna put one two and l and i'm gonna put add and i'm gonna put a string a b okay now when i run this program what this is going to do is that's going to say when we call add it's going to say okay these are integer values okay so uh this that means this template the t must be equal to int so that means our return type t will be replaced by int so our return type will be int this parameter will be int and this will be int and then it will say return a plus b which is give us a, a, a value uh, a numerical value when it comes to here, it will see that we pass in strings, right? And we should include the string class. So it's going to say, okay, so our type is a string. So T is equal to a string. So this is string, this is string, and this is string. So whatever type name we specify in here, it is replaced by the type name that we put in our parameters. So let's run this program. and we get an error cannot add two pointers hmm not really sure what that is let me pause this and restart it 
Okay, so when we ran our program, uh, we had, uh, we would get, if we tried to run this, we would say that, it would say it cannot add two pointers. Now, uh, this is the reason why. So, by, when we do call add, right, uh, if we were to get rid of this, let's see if this will compile and run. Does this will compile and run? Uh, but the thing with uh, uh, there's something with strings that uh, it it won't work like that. But so when whenever we call add, it, it we depend on our program to accurately describe to take in that these are both integers, and so we replace in this value right here. But to ease the pain of the compiler, and um to to put less work on the compiler or to specify before what we can do is put the left stream operator and actually put the type that we're going to put in there so this will let our compile uh, this will let us our compiler know straight away that what we're inputting are integer types so it takes off less work on the hardware and it kind of helps from a programming perspective that uh um, it helps us visually see what we're going to be inputting. So in this case, I'm going to put string in there. So what we said is that we call add, and we're going to be inputting numbers in there, and we can call add again, but we say that we're going to be inputting a string instead. So when we run this, what we get is the value 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, and we get A and B. So depending on whichever type that we input it runs the same exact function but it, it runs uh depending on the data type we put in it, it, will, it will return a different value so that is it that's the quick uh, tutorial on templates and we will learn about uh having uh more than one template because say for example you want to uh do an uh add an int with a double or something like that then you need to have a way in order to do that so i'm going to show you that in the next tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye